Hey everyone and welcome back to another watch hunting episode. Today we are on our way to beautiful Abu Dhabi, the capital of the United Arab Emirates. The city is just one hour away from my home and always worth a visit. Besides the amazing Louvre Museum, you can find all kinds of entertainment facilities like Ferrari World and the recently opened Sea World over here. In case you just want to relax, Abu Dhabi offers several luxury resorts with beautiful beaches. For today the plan is to visit all the Rolex stores and see if we can find a nice watch to buy. So take a coffee and enjoy the video. On my wrist today the AP Royal Oak Chronograph and my friend is wearing his Rolex Batman. First stop is at the Abu Dhabi Marina Mall, one of the oldest malls in Abu Dhabi that contains one of the bigger Rolex stores over here. Inside the Rolex store now, a few smaller two-tone lady stages just available, some rose gold models, a champagne, green and blue dial lady stage just. This blue dial lady stage just was released in 2022 and is pretty hard to find. It has this new flowers dial with the diamonds and over here it also has the diamonds bezel. So if you are looking for a watch for the wife, this would be an amazing catch. Some two-tone 36mm Datejust. The one on the right is with the champagne dial and the palm motif. Not a bad catch. Smooth bezel and oyster bracelet. Next to it a black dial full diamonds and a mother of pearl dial. And here we have another mother of pearl dial next to two rose gold watches. One of them is a 41mm with chocolate dial on oyster bracelet and smooth rose gold bezel. Next to it the fluted rhodium dial 36mm on oyster, a few full gold lady stage just with purple, green and mother of pearl dial and also here you can find the new Rolex catalog and also the Rolex magazine. And usually you can grab them for free but if the stores are short on catalogs and Rolex magazines they will usually not allow to take them. A selection of lady stage just on presidential bracelet. and a full rose gold Skydweller on oyster flex with grey dial in display. A hard to find watch as well. A 40mm day date with full diamond style, baguette diamond indices and the diamonds bezel, a mother of pearl day just 36mm and a fluted silver dial on rose gold jubilee bracelet with diamonds bezel. Another palm dial, a black dial and the mother of pearl dial. A few more Datejust watches in the display. So overall a good selection of available watches with mostly 28 and 36 mm Datejust. In contrast to many other stores you could walk in and buy one of these Rolex watches right away. A Rolex Deep Sea Challenger in display, but this piece is not for sale, it's only for exhibition. Moving on to Tudor, a great selection over here starting with the new Black Bay 54 on bracelet next to the Black Bay 58 on brown leather strap. I think this Black Bay 54 is another hard to find watch that also trades over retail on the second hand market right now. In most countries it will be a wishlist piece but here you would be lucky and you could grab it right away. Another Black Bay 54 on rubber strap next to a Black Bay 58 on NATO strap. The Tudor Ranger on green NATO looks great as always. A Pelagos 39mm on bracelet, one of the 2022 releases. Also a good catch and a great watch overall. And the highlight over here, which is not for sale and reserved already, is the new Tudor Black Bay 41 with the red bezel on Jubilee bracelet. I think this is the best new Tudor release of 2023, but so far very hard to get. 
next to it a Black Bay 41 on Oyster Bracelet and a Tudor Black Bay Pro. The new Tudor Black Bay 36 on Jubilee Bracelet with blue dial. Looks awesome as well and a watch I might buy in the future for a review and add it to my watch collection. And a Tudor Black Bay Ceramic Boutique Edition. The Panda Chronograph on NATO Strap. Initially very hard to get, now you can see them more and more becoming available. And on top the Reverse Panda on Bracelet, which would be my favorite of the two. The dial looks overall much better, hands give a good contrast and make the watch much more legible. So much for Tudor, let's have a quick look at Omega. Here we find a Speedmaster Sapphire Sandwich available for 27,200 dirham or 7,400 US dollars. The big metal swordfish in front of the Marina Mall. And moving on to the next door, which is located inside the Abu Dhabi Palace. A posh location I am visiting for the first time. I guess this place won't be visited as frequently as the other stores, so maybe there is a chance to find something good. Store is closed unfortunately, so we will just have a look at the window. A few full gold lady state chest and some day dates in display. Now we are inside the Galleria Mall, the most luxurious mall in Abu Dhabi. A chocolate dial 41mm in display, a white dial 41mm, a 37mm two-tone Yardmaster next to a Yardmaster 2 and both watches are for display only. A full rose gold Yardmaster on Oyster Flex, again this piece is for display only. And a full gold sky dweller on oyster flex with champagne dial. A lady stage just on pearl master bracelet. Very hard to find these pearl master pieces nowadays, but here you could grab one. And more lady stage just watches. And the highlight of the ladies pieces is this full rose gold day chest with green dial. Inside the store now trying on a two tone day chest on jubilee bracelet with palm dial. A nice summer watch that is available for sale here. In display we can find more day chest with another palm dial jubilee bracelet and smooth bezel. And in rose gold this time. I bought exactly this piece around a year ago for my girlfriend over here and at the time it was a bit harder to get. And it took also like a few months of waiting time if I remember correct. Also this store has the deep sea challenger in display. And the highlight for me is this platinum day date 36mm with ice blue dial, diamonds bezel and baguette diamonds as indices on the dial. What a stunning watch. Time to try it on the wrist sits perfect on my 6.5 inch wrist. The watch is heavy of course, so I guess a 36mm day date will be the right choice for me in the future. But let's see, maybe we are also going to try a 41 or a 40mm day date later on in the video. A quick stop at IWC having a look at the engineer again. I guess you know that I ordered this piece uh, maybe like two months ago and probably it should arrive in three to four months 
So by then we should also have the full unboxing and review experience. The Apple Store Abu Dhabi looks fancy with the water running down those glass panels. And a quick stop at the mixed brand store. Some nice Shira Paragos available over here, a bronze dial in 38mm and a green dial in 42mm. Having a coffee at Audemars Piguet while trying this 37mm blue dial Royal Oak, which is also a display piece only of course. I hope I can get one of these uh, 37mm watches in the future, as I think the 37mm uh, Royal Oak case sits pretty good on my wrist. Similar to the 38mm chronograph, which is slightly bigger, but those two I guess are the correct uh, Royal Oaks for my 6.5 inch wrist size. And trying the code 1159 now, which I also want to add to my collection in the future. For now I'm just not decided yet on which exact model. It's not as empty as the other one. Having lunch now at Loka, a beer for me and my friend goes with a coke. One beer over here is pretty expensive if you're going uh, to the location while it's not a uh, happy hour and it will set you back around $12. So yeah, as said, pretty expensive. But if you go during the, the happy hour, it will probably be around only like something like seven, eight dollars. Getting a fresh guacamole prepared and enjoying our lunch with tacos, fajitas and nachos. On our way to the last store already, And here we have a 41mm two-tone date just available. Uh, it comes with the fluted dial, smooth yellow gold bezel and jubilee bracelet. It has been quite a while since I tried a 41mm date just as those became also super hard to get and usually only the 36mm or smaller were available. But overall I still think the 36mm will uh, fit me better on my 6.5 inch wrist. A full gold Submariner bluesy in display, which is for display only. Also a stunning piece, uh, contrast between the blue and full yellow gold looks really awesome. And a black dial two-tone Submariner in display, which is also very hard to find nowadays, so quite a good catch over here. A white gold blue dial day date with diamonds and a 40mm day date with silver dial and Roman numerals. One of my favorites besides the champagne dial, as said earlier, 
One day a day date will join my collection for sure. I'm just not yet decided if it should be the 40 or 36 millimeters. So far my tendency is more for the 36 millimeters, but let me know your opinion in the comments down below. A James Cameron in display, again display piece only. And a red lettering sea dweller. Full gold yard master 40 mm next to a 37 mm version, and another pair of yard master in 40 and 37 mm. A full gold root beer, and the yard master 2. The deep sea challenger we saw in every store, also over here as a display piece only. Visiting Tudor now, uh, which yes, is just next to the Rolex you store. Have to make it thinner. And trying on the Black Bay 54 on rubber strap. Black Bay Chronograph Reverse Panda, a big watch for me personally, but with a 7 inch wrist or bigger you can probably pull it off. Trying the red bezel Black Bay 41, the one I am personally waiting for. And one of the old and forgotten Tudors that you can still grab at the stores is this pretty rare nowadays Tudor Black Bay P01. A dive watch inspired from old military dive watches with a unique bezel stop mechanism. I guess this watch won't be that long in the portfolio anymore and will probably be discontinued soon. And with that we have it. We visited pretty much all the Rolex stores that you can visit in Abu Dhabi and found a few nice pieces available for sales over here. So if you have the time for a full day of watch shopping in Abu Dhabi, it is definitely worth it to go for a watch hunt over here and you will probably find more watches available than in Dubai for example. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.